Anybody else play with Barbie dolls? <laughs> I know that's probably not what you expected. Uh, me to start off with here. Uh, I don't. My niece uh, used to play with Barbie dolls, and she was a few years younger than me. And you know, she ended up hanging out through the whole summer. You know, hanging out with her. So I have played Barbies in the past. My I have a daughter. She wasn't really into Barbies. I have played Barbies, but I wanted to. I wanted to bring some. Um, I wanted to bring attention to this new Barbie doll that came out. They just released a Barbie doll that has Down syndrome, which I think I think it's great. Uh, you know, I, from my experience meeting folks with Down syndrome, they're kind of they can be some of the happiest people on earth, and I'm really glad that they're getting uh, you know something that represents them. But you know, I always kind of thought you know Barbie might be autistic anyway, um, not you know not related to Down syndrome, just my line of thought. And the reason I think that is because, I mean, how many advanced degrees does this, does this woman have? She's been a scientist, like a physicist, an astronaut, uh, a nurse, a doctor, a lawyer, all these different things that require, you know, four and eight year degrees. Uh, this woman's got to be a savant. So like you'd think just looking at her like Barbie is the smartest blonde on earth, right? B blondes get a, a bad rap for being dumb or whatnot. And I think we need to break that stereotype because Barbie is clearly not a dumb woman. But I do want to point out that she she did a really shitty job designing her dream house, right? You got her dream house. She's obviously got a ton of money because of all these jobs that she's had, right? So I don't know what, you know, a physicist pays or whatever, but I know like a doctor and a lawyer and and astronaut should be making pretty good money. At least, you know, the astronaut, you can probably get some sort of, like, deal. I don't know what I was doing with my hand here. I feel like Ricky Bobby. I've been sitting here with my hand up in the air the half the video, and I just put it down now. I don't really know what I'm doing there. But anyway, you look at Barbie's dream house, there's a couple problems that stick out right away, right? This woman has 10 million outfits. She needs a walk-in closet. She almost needs, like, a warehouse, for her clothes but if you look at what her dream house closet is it holds maybe 10 outfits total i don't know y'all i think she's going to need a little more space than this but i do want to point out one thing she has a toilet but no asshole i think i think she could have used that space where the bathroom is and turned it into a walk-in closet and been much better off with her current situation but i also want to point out She's got this elevator that goes on the side. One thing she missed in this entire dang house, dream house, I'll have you, she didn't put any hallways in it. So what that ha what happens is you end up having this elevator that leads straight into the side of the bathroom or the kitchen. Now, I'm not sure about the resale value on homes like this, but I'm pretty sure you never make the money back when you put a personal elevator in, right? That money's gone. People don't want to repay for that at the end when you're trying to resell your house. You can just scrap whatever money you put into the elevator. There goes my hand again. You got to scrap you know all the money you put into the elevator because that money's just gone. It's, it's like when you drive a car off a lot and you lose like, 40% of the value or whatever it is. It's kind of the same thing when you put an elevator in. So the resale value is not great. But then when you start like looking into it, like there's no hallways. I feel like, uh, I also, you know, I should also point out that I believe there are some code violations in the Barbie Dream House. You see, the biggest one to me, though, uh, there are no stairs at all. There, if, if you need to get down in an emergency from the second floor, you can take the slide down to the pool. Which, honestly, if I'm, the house is on fire, sliding into the pool is not a bad idea, but I don't think that that meets code. I think you need stairs. And those no stairs in the Barbie dream house there's three three floors no stairs there's also not a garage but she does have a pink corvette that she just leaves outside and she's losing value on that all i'm saying is that you know you people wonder why blondes get a bad reputation and then you get the smartest blonde in the world who's a doctor lawyer physicist astronaut all these things and then she designs her dream house like this i feel like 
part of this is on the architect, though. I feel like it's the architect's job to step in and be like, hey, Barbie, look, you look great by today, by the way. You do something different with your hair. And then you'd be like, by the way, I got to break some news to you. You need some hallways. It's all it took, right? You need to convince her that what she's buying is stupid. That's all I got today, y'all. Didn't expect that out of me, did you? Anyway, be good. Keep it real. Catch you later. See you.